Malinche is one of history's most enigmatic figures and has been the subject of controversy since the 1500s. Traitor, survivor, icon, the legacy of La Malinche is the first museum exhibition to present a comprehensive visual exploration of this indigenous woman's enduring impact on communities living on both sides of the U.S. and Mexico border. Malinche, a young indigenous girl, was at the center of it all when the capital of the Aztec Empire fell to Spanish invaders in the 16th century. Sold into slavery as a girl, she was among the 20 young women given to the Spanish conquistadors as a gift. Malinche's fluency in Chontal Maya and Nahuatl, the language of the Aztec Empire, made her a valuable asset. She became an interpreter for Hernán Cortés and played a key role in the conflicts and negotiations between the Spanish and the indigenous populations of Mexico. A year or so after the fall of Tenochtitlan, Malinche bore Cortés a son, Martín. This mixed-race child became mythologized as the first mestizo and the first of a new race. Malinche has been called the mother of Mexico, responsible for combining the European and indigenous races and creating the people of today's Mexico. Despite her talents with language, Malinche did not leave any records in her own voice. What we know about her is pieced together by the stories, interpretations, and opinions of others. While some condemn Malinche as a traitor who betrayed her own people, others celebrate her resilience, intelligence, and self-preservation despite the circumstances. Chicana artists and writers of the 1960s and 1970s adopted her as a feminist icon seeing themselves in her and creating art and poetry that imagined her side of the story. Poets, writers, and artists continue to use the power of words and images to recontextualize Malinche. They reveal a woman whose intelligence and strength allowed her to forge her own path, making her story relevant 500 years after her death. Traitor, survivor, icon at the Denver Art Museum through May 8.